Okay, folks, we are now getting underway. The docks that we're pulling away from are called the Tom River Town Docks. It was here the Tom River started off as a busy seaport village with two or three masted sailing ships known as coastal schooners that would pull into this area and load their cargo and load up on the different native supplies the Jersey Shore and the Jersey Pine Barrens offered. Some of those products being bog ore, pig iron, pitch tar, lumber, charcoal, and salt. The reason South Tom River chose this type of dedication for their park is a man by the name of Simon Lake once lived in South Tom's River and attended the Tom's River school system. Over 20 of his inventions are still used on submarines today. This used to serve as an anchorage for the sailing ships as they used to await their turn to come into the Tom's River town docks. traveling along some waterfront docks along a road called Water Street. The homes along Water Street used to be known as Captain's Row as a lot of seafaring captains owned homes right along the riverfront. Most of these homes have now been converted to professional office space. This is called Cedar Point. Cedar Point is located in the borough of South Tom's River. It has received Green Acre funding, therefore it cannot be developed. It has to be kept as a recreational park type use. Cedar Point plays an important role in this part of the Tom's River because it's the largest portion of undeveloped land in this area. So it plays a key role in the nesting of waterfowl and also for other animals that rely on these low-lying areas for their food and shelter. passing by Lighthouse Point Marina and Yacht Club. There's a building off our starboard side that has a building shaped like a lighthouse. That red and white lighthouse is actually a replica. Even though it is lit at night, it is not considered an aid to navigation. It is their Yacht Club building. However, the red dome on the top of that lighthouse was actually taken off of a Canadian light ship. So at one time, that did serve as an aid to navigation. Lighthouse Point Marina is one of the largest marinas on the Tom's River with facilities for both power and sailing vessels. Meatwood 
was incorporated as a bow in 1917. On the shoreline towards the back of the boat a little bit on our starboard side was a modern looking building with a brown roof and a blue awning. That's the Beachwood Yacht Club. at what looks like a portion of undeveloped land. But it's actually a nine-hole golf course on the Tom River off to our port side called the Tom River Country Club. You look out on our starboard side again, we're passing by a small cove called Windy Cove. In Windy Cove, the beach, the town of Beachwood and Pine Beach Beat. Here the cove starts to end and the land comes back out into the river here. This is the western section of Pine Beach. And it's known as Eagle Point. It's called Eagle Point as prior to this area being developed, a lot of eagles nested here. Also at the northern end of Eagle Point, the last two-masted sailing schooner was built on the Toms River in 1854 by Captain Caleb Grant. Two and three masted sailing ships were quite a common sight along the Toms River and Barnegat Bay as they were used heavily for the coastal trade up until the late 1800s. Cocktail Cove, there's a creek that feeds into the Toms River here. If you look towards the back of the cove, you'll see it. This is called Mill Creek. Mill Creek is the dividing line between the town of Pine Beach and Berkeley Township. It used to be a favorite hiding spot for smugglers and privateers. And during the Prohibition years, rum runners used to hide up in that creek to avoid the Coast Guard patrol boats.